You used to eat these all the time. You know what this is called? Hmm. Girl dinner. We're gonna go grocery shopping. We're actually going to Aldi's today. I haven't been to Aldi's in years. All right, we're here at TJ Maxx. I guess I just really love geraniums. <laughs> Cause I want all these. Guys, I found all this clearance fabric for $3.72 a roll. Hey guys and welcome or welcome back to my channel my name is Emma if you're new here and today I had started off this video as a what I eat in a day but plans have changed I'm now home from work and we've actually decided to eat out for dinner and go to the movies so I figured I would just show you what we're doing tonight and then maybe continue this vlog into tomorrow kind of like a what I eat in a day start of the weekend because it is Friday so we had some AMC gift cards from Christmas that we just hadn't used yet and the new Ghostbusters movie came out today and we love both of the Ghostbusters movies so we're so excited to see it. I don't know where we're eating for dinner yet but if, been, if you've been watching my recent videos I am on the Whole30 diet. I actually started it in like the middle of January and it's now like the end of March so it's almost been three months strong that I've been doing this diet consistently without breaking it so just as a little treat myself tonight, I might eat out somewhere that's not like terrible, but it might break the diet a little bit. Like I might have some rice or something. Nothing too crazy, but just in case you're like, aren't you doing the Whole30 diet? Yes, it will resume after dinner tonight, but I figured if we're going to the movies, we might as well make a fun dinner day out of it too. I also want to grab some snacks at Target for the movies. So without further ado, we do need to go and just enjoy the rest of this vlog. I wonder if these are any good. Global inspired sour gummy candy. What should I get? Yeah, some chocolate, char chocolate covered. These are gluten free. Dark chocolate covered pretzels. Those might be good actually. Only three grams of sugar. Dark chocolate peanut butter candy pieces. Dark chocolate peanut butter cups. If I wasn't on a diet, I'd get a whole block of that. Ooh, wait, hold up. No sugar added. Dark chocolate peanut butter cups. Mm. Zero grams of sugar. Oh, remember... Oh, I used to eat these all the time. Mm -hmm. Less sugar. Oh, these only have three grams of sugar. Gluten-free, vegan. These might be the winner, actually. I've been craving these. You know what this is called? Hmm. Girl dinner. Girl dinner? <laughs> you heard about that? No. <laughs> the girls that get it, get it. Sea salt and vinegar chips and dark chocolate covered pretzels. 
Good morning, it is the next day. We are about to head out to town because we need to go get some groceries and I wanna to go to Hobby Lobby, possibly TJ Maxx and a couple other places. So we're gonna have like a nice relaxing, kind of like a little shopping Saturday. We did promise Macy, our dog, that she would get to go to Mimi and Papa's house today, which is my grandparents. And she loves going there. So we're gonna take her there and drop her off for a little bit um, so I can spend time with her and then we're gonna go grocery shopping. We're actually going to Aldi's today. I haven't been to Aldi's in years, like since I was in college and I'm excited to go because I looked at their website online and it looks like they have a lot bigger selection of like healthy snacks and like gluten-free things and things that are Whole30 approved. So I'm very excited to go and save some money on some groceries. The movie last night I thought was pretty good. <laughs> Um, anything with Paul Rudd in it, I love, and I thought that he was really funny. Um, it wasn't like the funniest movie I've ever seen, but there were some parts that were funny in it. I don't know if anyone else is like this, but I cannot, as I've gotten older, sit through a movie in the theater without falling asleep. I almost made it to the end of the movie, and in the last, like, ten minutes, I just passed out. Like, I cannot, even at home... As soon as we start playing a movie, I immediately fall asleep. So with all that being said, we're gonna go ahead and head out and get some of this shopping and errands done. All right, we're here at TJ Maxx. I wanna look at some jewelry and some active wear, some workout tops. We just got out of TJ Maxx. I always get very overwhelmed in there, which is why I didn't really film anything because, I don't know, there's just a lot of people. It's also spring break, so I wasn't sure if it was gonna be super busy or not, if people were gonna be away or more people were gonna be shopping or whatever, but I did get a couple things in TJ Maxx. One kind of random thing, we've really been needing a potato masher. We've kind of just been mashing everything with forks and this one's like a nice giant metal one, so. We're whipping up some potatoes with that and I went in to look at jewelry and workout tops. The workout top section was absolutely trash. They only had really skin tight tank tops and long sleeves and I'm looking for just like a little bit more cropped, really lightweight, flowy t-shirts to work out in. But something I did find that I wasn't really expecting was this pair of good shoes for a great price. So. I've been really needing some new work shoes. I've been wearing my boots to work every single day and then I have this pair of pink flats that I've literally had since high school. And they are just falling apart. They were like 20 bucks from Target like eight years ago and it was time that I got some new shoes, especially now that it's warmer out. So these flats are literally perfect. They're very comfortable. They're the Madden Girl brand, which is like the Steve Madden sister company. I'm not really sure, but they're a really nice brand and these were only $29.99. So, really great pair of faux leather flats to wear to work. And that's the TJ Maxx haul. We're about to go to Walmart to get some fishing things and then we might stop by Academy too to look at their clearance workout top selection just see if they have anything good because I've gotten a lot of tank tops from their clearance section before. Um, then we still need to go grocery shopping, but that's obviously gonna be last, so we don't have to like keep food in our car while we're shopping, but that's the plan. We're headed to Walmart now. I really wanna do an herb garden at our house. Look, they have all these herbs. Yeah. Thai basil, peppermint, cilantro, oregano, parsley. get some of these to hang off the porch. Those are so pretty. I love those. <gasps> what is this? Delphinium. Have you ever seen this before? Mm -hmm. I don't know if I've ever seen that. I guess I just really love geraniums because <laughs> I want all of these. 
Like these planted in the planters outside the front door, or those. It would be so pretty. Do some geraniums this year. Look at those in those pots. The pink and purple and white. Yeah. What did you get? Rebel crawls. Crawfish baits. Made it to Academy. See, these are the kind of things I'm looking for. Exactly like this. It's like a nice, lightweight workout t shirt top that's a little bit cropped. This is perfect. This is literally what I need. Let's look at the clearance. Right. Nike one's nice. This clearance is all long sleeves and winter eat stuff. Ooh, that's a nice Carhartt jacket though. This is exactly the one that you have that I always wear. Yeah. Except in burgundy. That's nice. It is nice. Like me. How much is it? Ooh, it's on sale for 39 from 100 That's actually really good. Ready? This is all really nice stuff. <laughs> I know, stuff. this is really nice stuff. I want this one so bad. The color's so pretty. It would match our bedroom perfectly. How many yards do you technically need to like make it's one? $30 here. Two. Because I need two panels to close together. I don't want just one. So 60 bucks a window? Yeah, that's what I'm saying. This is, we and can't that's afford if you this don't stuff. Mess up. Yeah, that's if I don't mess up. I like this one. This one's really nice. This one's $22.99 a yard, so better. Yeah. Ooh, here's just a nice linen. I think that's boring. I want pattern. That one's only $13.99 a yard, though. All right, we're getting somewhere. Guys, I found all of this clearance fabric for $3.72 a roll, and it has like a little more than a yard in each, or actually two yards. I don't know. It's quite a bit of fabric, and these are like nice linen blackout fabric this is exactly what I was looking for to go above the bed I'm so excited this is gonna be like multiple curtains and pillowcases for like under $12 this is like amazing and they have so much more clearance fabric here I also thought about getting this really pretty blue color I just don't know what I would do with it like I think it'd be really pretty as a pillow but or curtains too I thought about it as curtains but since I don't know what I'd do with it, I'm gonna leave it behind. But it's a really pretty color. We also saw these really big rolls of this like slubby, like linen fabric. Um, this one's only $7.23 for the entire roll, but I don't know. I don't know what I'd do with this fabric. And it's almost like couch fabric, and I feel like it would stain very easily because it's like kind of more rough. So that's a great option too. And then those down there are really nice but if you're looking for fabric to play around with make pillows or curtains or something check out the Hobby Lobby clearance section because they have a lot over here all right guys we've just got home and I want to give you a haul of everything that we got we did have to go to Walmart to get a couple things that all these did not have but we are extremely impressed and satisfied with our grocery shopping at Aldi's I will tell you, we only spent $105 at Aldi's, and we got four different kinds of meat, all of our vegetables, we got more fruits than we usually get, and we got snacks. So we got a lot of things at Aldi's that probably would have cost over $200 at Walmart or Target. We're very excited to start shopping there. First things first, we did have to go to Walmart because Macy was out of dog food, and we get her the... Purina one dog food. We got her the lamb and rice formula this time. She's never had lamb. She usually only has chicken because she needs the joint or she doesn't need but we like to get her the joint and hip health formula or the joint health formula. I also needed makeup wipes from Walmart so I just got some Neutrogena makeup wipes. I was running low on my favorite almond butter and I am still doing the Whole30 diet, so this is my favorite one, the Marantha almond butter that's crunchy. I only like crunchy, and this is no sugar or salt added. And then we found a recipe last week for barbecue chicken thighs that we have been loving. Um, but anyways, we ran out of sugar-free barbecue sauce, and we haven't tried this brand before, but we thought we would try this G. Hughes Smokehouse sugar-free original barbecue sauce. We usually use the traditional Sweet Baby Ray's, but this one was about the same price, so we thought we'd just try something new. All right, now we're gonna get into the Aldi groceries. Keep in mind, all of this was only $105. 
first thing, these are for Harley, the Citrus Twist Lemon Lime Sodas. I don't believe these are sugar free or diet or anything, so these will be for him, but they're just like basically knockoff. Kansas Sprite. Also keep in mind that whenever you shop at Aldi's, they don't have like Walmart bags or like paper bags like this. You have to bring either cardboard boxes or your own tote bags. So we brought our own tote bags and you have to bag everything yourself. So just in case you've never been to Aldi's before, bring some reusable bags because you will need them. I got some of these pineapple spears. I love pineapple and I've been wanting more fresh fruit, so those looked really good. They had really good prices on fruit, so we also got just a thing of strawberries. My favorite fruit is actually blackberries, and at Walmart, and pretty much anywhere, blackberries are always the most expensive. But at Aldi's, it was only $1.69 for a thing of blackberries, so picked up some really nice looking blackberries. And we picked up a thing of blueberries. Harley got one of these Caesar salad kits as like an easy lunch or snack one day. I have been loving recently roasting green beans in the oven, so I got a bag of green beans and then a bag of asparagus spears. We love grilling these with salmon. We also eat a lot of potatoes and like french fry, french fries and different iterations of potatoes. So we got this 10 pound bag of russet potatoes. This was only like $3.99, I think. So when you're on the Whole30 diet, you can't have rice or a bunch of like carbs or starches. So I've been eating kind of a lot of potatoes and sweet potatoes just for like some energy and like some sustenance because I do work out every morning. So I kind of need something that is gonna keep me full for a while. So I usually have some kind of either sweet potato or roasted potatoes or something with dinner every night. So that being said, we go through potatoes pretty fast. Harley got a, what is this? Half gallon of just milk. We also got two cans of pineapple slices. Harley wants to do like a spicy pineapple marinade with the chicken. So we're gonna use the pineapple juice that's in here and do some kind of marinade with the chicken and then probably just save the pineapple slices in a Tupperware and eat them throughout the week. Everything else in this bag is meat. We did get quite a lot of meat and it was so affordable. So the first thing that we got was this huge bag, frozen bag of chicken wings. We also got one thing of ground turkey. We also got some chicken thigh fillets. I personally love chicken thighs, especially when we bake them in the oven with the no sugar barbecue sauce that I showed you earlier very very good we also got this coho salmon portion this was nine dollars but this is so huge that we can cut it in half and then have like two servings so not a super bad price honestly their salmon was priced really reasonably at Aldi um, which I was excited to see because we love to have this with like cauliflower rice and asparagus and then I also picked up this value pack of chicken breasts so there's like six chicken breasts in here and it was $12.35. And the last meat related item that I picked up are four cans of this canned tuna. This is called Pole and Line Cot Skipjack Tuna in Water. Okay, we're on to the last bag and this one is pretty much just snacks because I just showed you all of the meat, fruit, and vegetables that we got. So Harley picked up this bag of baked barbecue potato crisps. They're kind of like the baked Lay's chips and barbecue. And Harley also got some of these protein snack packs. So they have mild cheddar cheese and beef sausage bites. I thought these would be great for him to take to work or if he's hungry when he gets home, he could have these as like just an easy snack. This is one that I actually told Harley that he should try because I can't try it because I'm on the Whole30 diet, but I wanna know if they're good or not. And they're the Nashville Hot Chicken Kettle Chips. I actually saw these on Aldi's website and I'm so jealous that I cannot try them. But yeah, cause these have, well, actually I might be able to try them. They have less than one gram of added sugar. So I might try just like one chip if I'm feeling like it. Um, it's not breaking the diet too much if I have like 0.2 grams of added sugar. But anyways, I just, these are gluten free. I just thought that these would be interesting to try. Oh, I guess another meat related thing. Harley just got some cooked ham for um, lunch meat as like just sandwiches. 
Also picked up some oregano leaves. This was 99 cents for just some oregano because we were out. And the rest of the stuff in here is snacks that I picked out. So you guys know that I have my Mio Energy and Pineapple Smash every single morning in my diet green tea. And they had these like off-brand Mio Energy things at Aldi's for, I think this was exactly a dollar. But it is the Energy Strawberry Pineapple. It's literally the exact knockoff of the Mio Pineapple Smash, whatever. Um, so it was a dollar. I thought that I would just try it because I'm getting low on Mio anyways. And I'm pretty excited about these snacks. So the first one that I picked out were these sweet potato chips. These are literally made out of just sweet potatoes, canola oil, and sea salt. So very minimal ingredients, non-GMO, gluten-free. I also got these to try. Um, I thought they looked similar to the Siete nacho chips that I love so much, but these are cauliflower tortilla chips that are nacho flavored. They're made out of cassava and cauliflower. And the last thing in this entire haul are these keto coconut clusters that have pumpkin, sunflower, and hemp seeds. So anything that says keto is usually also Whole30 compliant unless it has dairy in it. Um, so this caught my attention. And then the last thing I got today, this is so random, um, but I have been looking for these Plink garbage disposal like refreshers for forever. Target stopped carrying them, Walmart stopped carrying them, and then the only place I could find them was Lowe's. But I found this 20 pack at Hobby Lobby for only $9.99 and it has different scents in it, which I haven't seen before. So it has lemon, orange, and lime. And you get 20 in here for only $9.99. So I'm super excited to do the dishes now and then run this in the garbage disposal because these are the only thing that have ever worked for me to like make the entire house smell good after you do the dishes. And like it really cleans out your garbage disposal um, and refreshes it. So go to Hobby Lobby or Lowe's and pick up some of these. <sighs> Y'all, that was a long day. It's 5.45 now. We left the house at like, I think around 10.30 this morning. I'm honestly have no idea. I'm honestly not sure, but it's been a super long day. I am going to put all these groceries away, kind of clean up the house. I need to do the dishes. We've got laundry to do, so we'll do a little bit of cleaning in this video as well. But I'm going to start with putting these groceries away.